Никс и Том Мастейн, сотрудник компании Ritual Entertainment, которая известна по таким хитам, как Син, Heavy Metal Fact 2 и Star Trek Light Force 2. Сейчас мы зададим вопросы от журнала PC игры. Okay, guys, would you please introduce yourself and say a bit about your company? Okay, great. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm Steve Nix. I'm the CEO of Ritual Entertainment. We're a uh, developer based in Dallas, Texas. Been around for eight and a half years. Uh, we're basically in downtown Dallas. Have about uh, 40 or so guys, and uh, you know, we make mainly action games uh, for the PC, for the Xbox, and the PS2. And uh, we've done a lot of games over the years and uh, had some big successes and uh, we're working on some cool stuff now that we can't talk about, but uh, we'd like to soon when, when we can. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, my name's Tom Mustaine, the Director of Development at Ritual Entertainment. Been there since day one. Uh, I don't have much to say other than Steve, what Steve said, but uh, expect very good things, amazing things from us in the next couple of years. Ritual will be back in an interesting way. Okay, uh, let's look back at the past. Uh, when your company was started and how did it develop through the years? Who's going to answer that question? Okay, that's probably better for Tom's question, I'm sorry. Um, when was the company started and how did it develop through years? Ah, okay. Uh, Ritual started in 1996, July 96. There were seven owners at the time and we were all, uh, all the guys working on the games. Over the years we've hired up, worked on bigger and bigger games, uh, made b bigger content. We've parsed down our business model over the years, started working on games that are more well-known, moved into the console industry from the PC-centric uh, industry. Our future is uh, PC and Xbox and uh, new consoles in the future and new PC platforms in the future that haven't been discussed by anybody yet. So uh, we are going to continue down that path, and innovating games and building multiplayer and single-player games that people will want to play, guaranteed. Uh, Richel has developed a lot of uh, good titles like Scene, Star Trek, Light Forest 2, Heavy Metal Fact 2. What is the key element of your success? Um, well, absolutely, the best thing that we have going for us at Ritual is our people. You have to have the best people to produce the best games and to give them an environment where they're free and unshackled and, and it's not a corporate environment. It's very free and open and they feel that they can take risk and that they can put the quality into the product that they need to. So that's what's great about being an independent developer uh, and we don't answer to anyone basically. Uh, we work with the publisher but we're free to do what we want and so that gives us the freedom and the power and you just, you empower your, your people and you hire the best people and that's how you get good products. Um, what is your favorite game you have worked on and why? Tom? <clears throat> uh, I'd say my favorite game is Sin. It's, uh, a lot of it's because of it's, our, it's our universe. We invented the entirety of Sin. It got turned into a movie. Uh, it, it just, it was a very rewarding game to work on. Um, and, you know, we, we plan on revisiting that game in the future. The uh, The content we produced for that game, it also just had the resonance with the community. We had so many people that played it. We still have fan base out there that plays it. And I, I still believe that's probably one of the most, most exciting and fun games we've ever worked on. So at least for me personally, definitely. You, Steve? Even though I love Sin very much, um, Star Trek Elite Force 2 was probably the most interesting game for me personally. I, I love the Star Trek universe growing up and getting to immerse in that universe and work very closely with Paramount on creating a new story and a new set of characters but fitting with it in it, that universe was a great challenge and then when the game came out and the Star Trek fans really loved it it really meant a lot to us and we knew that we had succeeded uh, Most of ritual games are uh, uh, actions and first person shooters are you going to challenge yourself in some other genres? Um, I was going to say The thing is, yeah, we could challenge ourselves in, in other genres. We could start making, you know, platform children's games. But a lot of times when you have something that's very great, it's because it's been built on the successes of the past. So, I mean, Half-Life 2 was built on Half-Life 1. Uh, Halo 2 was built on Halo 1. Not that we just love sequels, but every time you do something, you learn a little bit. And you learn, you get better and better and better. And we want to create the greatest games possible. And the, the way to probably create the greatest games possible for us is to do what we know we're good at and to build on our, our previous skills rather than reinventing the wheel and going off into a genre that we're not familiar with and we're not going to create the quality of product that we want. Mm. Uh, you know, the Sin game is very popular in Russia. And uh, Can you tell why uh, the work on Sin 2 has been stopped? Uh, is there a chance that in the future people can see Sin 2? Okay. <laughs> 
Well, first off, the, the work on Sentu hasn't stopped. Uh, it's the uh, it's being funded by Ritual right now internally, and we're we're working on the game not in a real superficial capacity. It's it's not aimed for any particular target date. It'll be a when it's done type capacity game. We uh, we believe in the Sin franchise. We believe in that game. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. It's gonna be. Uh, it's going to be done, and it's going to be right and done correctly, and that's that's the most important thing to us. We want to make sure we do that franchise all the justice in the world, and that's 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 why you're not seeing anything about it right now. And it's we're we're in very quiet mode about it for a lot of reasons. So, you know, too much too much hype, it will destroy a game. So you don't want to do that. So, add something to that. Yeah, we talked about doing Sin Two, um, you know, a couple of years ago, a little bit publicly, but and we had opportunities uh, for publishing agreements for that. But they weren't the publishing agreements we wanted. Uh, we wouldn't have had the control and felt like we could have had the quality in the product that we wanted at that time. Um, but Sin will absolutely be made again. It's, it's the game that's near and dearest to our hearts at Ritual, and we will absolutely make another Sin game. Nice to hear that. And what are the main principles of work in Ritual? Uh, what are the key points when you employ people? Um, well, first of all, it's respect for the employees. And wanting to build a, a, a great environment for them to work in. Um, we don't believe in a lot of political process at Ritual. We want everyone to be very happy and uh, to really look forward to coming into work in the mornings. Um, we have a very good management structure and process where everything is fairly organized but still very, very supportive of the creative process. You don't want chaos, but you don't want bureaucracy that stifles creativity at the same time. So we try and build a great process and have a great place to work. I mean, you do the, you know, the free soft drinks and everything else that you expect, and so people you know, are comfortable spending, around, spending a lot of time at the office. But you know, the big screen TV with every game you can imagine, and so people, it's, it's a home away from home for most people. And uh, it's a, it's a, more than that, some people refuse to go to their own houses at night. But uh, just build a really great environment and uh, give people basically the the environment that they need to, to be really successful and uh, and have a lot of respect for them as individuals because they are our greatest asset. Okay, thank you. And Tom and Steve, uh, would you please tell a bit about yourself? How did you find yourself in the gaming industry? Uh, what have you decided to create games some day ago? Thank you, Tom. Tom? Well, for myself, I was in uh, electrical engineering before before this and would go home and play Doom, or I've been playing games since I was a kid, you know, obviously. I went home and started editing Doom levels and building content for that game and learned pretty quickly that there's money to be made there and fell into a group of people that were starting a company and since then just haven't turned back. So that's, I was, I was aimed for a very, very boring career and, and landed in, in probably the most exciting industry that's around right now. So I'm very lucky. Yeah, and for me, I I had a very very boring background as well. I had a traditional business background and a, a graduate degree in finance, and uh, was slaving away at a Wall Street job for many years, managing large sums of someone else's money, and decided that's not what I wanted to do with my life. And um, I had a friend, Harry Miller, who was uh, in the industry, and uh, Harry introduced me to the guys at Ritual, and um, there was an opening and. Uh, and I took the plunge and kind of went off to join the circus, basically, and uh, decided to make video games. I love games. I, I, I still have my original Atari 2600 plugged into my television at home and play it all the time. Um, I had played you know, a lot of Sin before I came to Ritual, actually, and it was one of my favorite games. But I love games, and I, I love software, and it's, uh, it's a great merging of, of those things. So we're in entertainment. We're in software. And... Um, it's it's just it's it's a growing market. It's it's just a, it's a I'm like Tom. Feel very very fortunate to have landed where I have have and had this opportunity. Okay, I think that's it for the interview. Would you please say a few words to our Russian readers, some wishes maybe? Okay. Well, I'd like to say uh, hello to everyone in in Russia. Uh, I've heard such good things about your country. I hope to come see it one day. I know that Richard will, Gray Level Order will be doing that soon. And uh, I hope you enjoy uh, many ritual titles in the future. I can definitely echo a lot of what Steve said. Hello, everybody, Russia. I, uh, I'm proud to, to have built a game that you play, and uh, I hope to continue making games that you guys will play. That's a very exciting prospect. Thank you.
And Richard has invited us uh, to Dallas after E3 to his place, so we'll get to, to your office maybe to see, see you there. Awesome. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you here at GDC. Thank you very much.